Hello, everyone. You, you who's watching this video right now. Uh, this is a big video for myself, for the channel, um, and what I've been doing. And I realize that there's a lot of people who may end up watching this video without understanding the context of what I do. And um, I'm basically going to just do a little bit of a recap. So because I'm going to be talking about a lot of things and I've noticed that I kind of just assume that people know everything when, you know, if this is your first time watching me, uh, you need to kind of have a little bit of an understanding of what's been going on. So first of all, hi, my name is Max. Um, I started this channel, well, a while ago, but I, I started w the path that I've been on right now uh, about 100 days ago. And my commitment was to uploading a video every single day about my goals, how I did in my day, um, tracking what I'm doing, reflecting on my day, all with the overall goal of improving my life. And I've been very consistent at it. I've had some days where I didn't, I missed the video and then the following day I would, you know, do the follow-up video. So I've had this great consistency in that regard. And a lot has changed uh, since then. And, you know, it's a great feeling um, to to see that, right? To see where you've come, because that's the point of this whole channel. The real, like, main point of this channel is to show everybody what I can do with the idea that you can do it too, right? I've tried, I'm, I'm, I'm doing trial and error, trying to figure out what works for me, uh, you know, failing here, succeeding here, and kind of just molding what I've been doing to see what works best and what gives results. Because that's what matters, right? This is not about a guru. I'm not going to tell you anything that I'm saying. It's not because, oh, I just think it or, or something. I'm here to talk about results. I'm here to talk about things that, you know, really matter um, from a practical standpoint. I really want to give practical advice. I'm all about that. I'm not about just saying nice things to help you, you know, oh, you know, get motivated. So what I've been doing basically is uh, three main things, or maybe two, I guess. Um, but you know, we'll stick to three. The first thing I started doing was I started basically documenting what I did in a day. And I very quickly translated that into scheduling my day of tasks I, that I wanted to do. And um, I and, and, and I will show you right now, uh, this essentially is what my scheduler looks like. This is getplan.co. You can use a different one, but what it does is um, you can block times, you know, on this tab here on the right and have things planned for your day. Now this, I, I for today, I, I just, I didn't get to actually checking them off as I did my tasks. Uh, and as you can tell, we are, we're behind schedule here, uh, but that's okay. Um, but essentially, th this is where I, I, I start booking my tasks here. And um, I, wait, could I just go back in time? That's amazing. This is my first time doing this. I just wanted to show where things really started. Um, I think it was in July. No, my math's not the best right now. Yes, here we go. I think it was July 17th that I started for real. So in th this, is, this is when I first started my schedule. And all I did was I would just put things that I wanted to do in my day. And, um, you know, work towards, how should I say, trying to do as many as I can. If I didn't get some, that's fine. Now, here, I ended up just like, I always cross them out. This doesn't mean I actually did everything that I did, just the way that I, I operate. But basically, I would set things for myself to do the night before the day um, and, you know, see how I did. And then I would have a notepad document that tracks whether... I, 
you know, it's kind of like a, a double check if I wanted to add anything that I didn't do in a certain sense. So let me quickly just show what that looks like. This was yesterday. So I, I talk here about like my sleep because that's important. I have the date up here. This was yesterday. And these are just the tasks, right? So I basically compare one task, like, you know, I, these are pretty similar in a certain way, but this will only show what did I actually do. By the way, this is day 799 because technically I started this whole journey. I was I, I was initially uploading videos, um, but I kept documenting what I was doing every day to some extent. Um, but so so the point here with this thing is I, I schedule my day and I try to do as much as I can hopefully by the time, you know, initially here, I didn't really, I just put stuff in there. I wasn't strict on actually the timing of any of it, right? Uh, you know, this is, we're going week by week here. And then at some point I started being more strict on uh, actually, usually my day going exactly as I scheduled it. So we've progressed quite a bit um it's interesting to see this view here how do i just go to the day hmm. i'm kind of messing up here a little uh there we go perfect so basically like i said i schedule my day i write what i want to do uh, that's the first thing uh the second thing is i've created this thing called a goal viewer okay so this this is a uh, this is something I call a goal viewer. I made this myself, and essentially at the very top. Well, I guess I should have showed how it was to begin with. But at the very top, or the top half, like this over here, these are areas that are important in my life that I want to work on. Constants. This is more of just like a tracking of my daily kind of chores and stuff. This isn't as important. But these I have relationships, the big three in terms of health. Uh, my career and my hobbies. These are things that I am working on um, doing from the perspective of, uh, you know, tracking my improvement. And it's an interesting thing that I did here, but essentially what I do is I have them color coded this color, like dark gray being the worst and purple being the highest. There's a lot of different, it's a big spectrum. And essentially it's a combination of how far I've advanced in that specific area, but also how well I'm doing in what's in my control, right? For example, let's say uh, a really high level of YouTube would be if I ever happened to get a million subscribers, hypothetically. I mean, that doesn't have to be like a main goal, but let's just say that's one. Well, that would be really high up. And so what? Until I get there, I just I have to always be in the red or no, how it's also tracking how much is is within my capability. How good am I doing as of right now? It's a tracking both. So I still feel like as I'm moving from this, you know, uh, and the colors, you know, they change. It will go from that color to this color to this color uh, to green to darker green to really dark green, to light blue, to blue, and then to dark blue, and then finally to purple, right? So that's kind of the spectrum that I have as of right now. And to get to something like a purple, which is the ultimate, um, it looks so odd looking at it compared to everything else. But this is essentially... Um, what I'm doing, right? So I like, oh, I, what? I'm not there right now, but I am working towards, you know, at a level that I feel good. If I feel like I could be doing more, right, in the present moment, then that's not helpful towards moving myself in the positive direction. So I have all these things here. And then I have some short-term goals here, and I just separate them, short-term and long-term goals. These things should take more time. And these things... Uh, are, are, are quicker to do, right? Now, what's interesting about what I'm going to show is, in fact, um, the picture uh, that I have right here, which is the way I kind of started out. This isn't quite the very start. Things were worse than this. These constants, these are like different. These are things that, you know, um, 
how should I say this? These are like, um, you know, they could change, right? Sorry about that notification there. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I should, I mean, it doesn't matter. I, yeah, I have, I, I have Steam friends. I should just close Steam now that I think about it in the future. But as you can see, you know, everything was a lot more red. And then we went from that to this. Look at that. Look at that change, right? Let me just keep on going back and forth. You can ignore the the constants um, uh, over here because like these things, because these like they change constantly. They're just really main, mainly as reminders. But, you know, this is quite a significant growth. And this is in a way what I would like to be showing off that I've done, right? this kind of change and it's only about increasing oh, by the way like realistically speaking uh some of like so, th those darker reds should really be gray in fact if i have it right let me just let me just see did i kind of mess up a little bit here because i do i i i, I tried to find like the earliest point i could find because i didn't have my true like zero if that makes sense um let me just check here. So, okay, I think this is more, this is more uh, applicable. Sorry for you know this video not being as like neat and tidy and everything, but there's something I just have for the rawness of the way that I I talk about things. So, there we go. That's better. So now we're talking. Okay, yeah. So the the difference was even better than I thought. Look at that. Right. Look at that. That's how amazing we used to have garbage there, but I'm doing the garbage automatically, so I don't even really need to uh, remind myself of that. So basically, we, we we can see these two differences here, and I think this is you know it's amazing to really uh, look at, um, and, and it's changed sometimes some of some of even where I'm at right now. I, I have I've had nutrition higher. I've had family hire i've had friends hire um they're, they're, you know these are things that uh can change and sorry lastly lastly the the last point i wanted to make that i that i've been doing is i i've kind of just been reflecting over it all right i've been making some commentary thinking of ideas thinking of things here and there so that's what i've been doing right this is what i i, I go through every single day i i i i i I go over, did I accomplish everything I had scheduled? I look at my goal viewer, I adjust, make any adjustments if I feel like they're necessary. And then I uh, make a bit of a reflection at afterwards. Now, I've also been doing this thing, you know, this is still fairly new, but I have now three months basically where I go over the month and I, I have goals that I track. It's still kind of, I am doing trial and error now. It's at a point where I feel better about it. it like I had uh, initially my first month was just one month of daily improvement vlogging. And then I did September, 2022. And then I did October, 2022. Um, so they're not perfect, but they're kind of just taking my daily experiences on a more macro monthly level. How good did I do in that month? What goals did I set out for that month? And did I meet them? And right now I'm on course for my, I've already set my November goals. I feel great about November. Personally, we're November 4th right now. Um, but essentially what I'm doing here is just focused on improving myself to the most, to the highest degree that I can. And, you know, it's it's a challenge. And so what this whole video is about is me just talking about how I, uh, you know, my, what my review of it so far, right? How has 100 days of doing this been? Well, as you saw, I obviously did a pretty big improvement um, after 100 days from the color coding perspective. Um, I, I, there's, I'm not as good with in terms of the more long-term or short-term goals. We had some of them, but not as much as I would have personally liked uh, to have done. The biggest things that I've really changed are my, is my Twitch. I started Twitch streaming like seriously and it went really well and I'm still going. I've been very consistent at it and it's, it's growing very nicely. That was a very nice thing. And my days are pretty much 
really nicely booked in. Um, still having a struggle with my sleep. That's the main thing that I haven't improved since then. And um, also my um, kind of my time management, right? Where, I, you know, as much like, you know, I schedule things and I like, okay, let's try to get this done by this time. Time and time again, though, I'm not being as perfect as I'd like when I by the timing of when I finish um, the videos. So this video is essentially, which I'm, I'm kind of repeating myself a little bit here, kind of at a loss for words, bear in mind, hey, it's rods, you know. Uh, but that's what I, I encourage just to kind of and I and I feel like I do this also to encourage you guys to just show like, hey, hey, just do it. Don't keep planning. Don't keep editing, redoing this. Re, re, just just do it. Right. That's that's part of why I do this, too. And obviously it's less effort, <laughs> you know, but, um, you know, so far as I did my one month review of doing this, I 100 recommend doing something similar to what I am doing in all of this does it have to and now i'm doing daily and i'm doing daily improvement vlogging uh you don't have to do a vlog of recording yourself but some type of journaling of what you are doing i think is very crucial every step like the scheduler that i have and the goal viewer out of anything that i have here i truly think that the goal viewer is the best most practical tool that anyone can have yours doesn't have to look like mine you can do yours however think is modified in your way but the key about it is that it helps you stay on track with what you want to work on right i keep revisiting all these things right like one one thing i just thought about was you know i look at friends and i'm like how am i going in the friend department and you know if if i wasn't doing that a lot of time could go by without you thinking about that, without you thinking. And, you know, this keeps you kind of in check. It's like, oh, crap, this thing's going kind of down. I should work on that. You know, it really from that well-roundedness approach, it is fantastic. So to me, it's about the, the biggest thing here is about that ability to constantly be reminded of what you want to be doing and actually having plans ahead and meeting those plans and assessing yourself right and i think that one of the things that might i don't know if it's necessarily something that would make people not want to do it or maybe if people are doing it and that makes them stop is people don't like failing they don't like the feeling of setting a certain expectation or where they thought they would like to be at a certain point and then they end up not reaching that point and they're like oh you know what i feel bad about myself i'm and then they start having negative thoughts about themselves but to me really it's i've failed in that kind of thing many times but i look at it as let's how do we adjust right how do we improve did we set too high of an expectation what can we do to work to build towards being able to do that next time right those are the things that i have really noticed and um the other thing, right, is, hey, I've been doing I've been consistent with this. I've been doing this for 100 days. This has become a complete habit to me to upload a video every single day to review all of what I'm doing. And it's honestly like a, a, a power up, I feel like in my in my overall life that I think would apply to anybody. It's it's like it's like having an agenda. It's having this scheduling to 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 this degree. So I would recommend, you know, Everyone's, I'm sure, will look different in its own way. It doesn't have to be online. You could have something where you write down. You could, you know, try to find something. But to me, it's that it's that reminder. It's that planning, that scheduling, that overall looking at what you want to do with your life that is extremely beneficial to all of this and that allows for this growth to happen. Um, I'm very happy with where I'm at and how things have gone. Really, like, uh, there's a part of me that's like, oh, well, did I think I was going to be a little bit better? Honestly, when I look at the whole process, to me, okay, for those who don't know, I don't know why my head, why wireless headset, if there's no sound coming in for like uh, a certain amount of time, it just goes dead, even though my mic's being used. It doesn't make sense. Anyways, excuse me for that. Um, but you know, I'm not going to really do so much of an assessment kind of like, where did I really think I was going to be here? 
by 100 days like when I started because that just changed a lot, right? It, it, it's and that's where I think managing expectations is very important here. Like to like I mentioned, not being too hard on yourself and just understanding like, hey, trial and error, right? You don't actually know what you're capable of or where you're at, and just like, oh, I expect to have made this much money or had this much views or this many subscribers or this or I whatever it might be in your world that you might think. You'd like to think that, but do you actually have the reason, realistic evidence to back up that? How much of that is actually in your control? And even if it might appear to be in your control, you don't really know what you're in control over your own uh, being, right? You don't know when you just are like, man, I'm just tired. I'm just tired today. I, I can't do more. I need a break, right? You don't. We don't really know exactly where that is. So I think that's really important in in doing this. And if I, if it's not obvious what I've been do, I'm doing right now, I'm trying to encourage you to do what I've been doing because of how much I see the value in it. I have way more, way higher expectations, way higher goals. But so far, I have changed so much um also the ability i think I've, I've improved a lot in just my ability to talk just because i'm doing it so frequently right there's the sense of practice in what i'm doing here in terms of communicating in terms of trying to talk you know non-stop with no breaks uh to some degree i you know i listened to some of my older videos you know i also had like a really big be beard uh in my in my first video but overall i am i don't know i i i can't really see i like everything has just gotten better for the most part like everything has gotten better from when i when i first began and i feel i feel really really good about that i have to say i feel really good about that um i'm proud of what i've done here and you know it's it's only it's only getting better you know to a certain degree it really is um and yeah, I don't know. I'm just I'm so excited to 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 be able to show off, you know, everything that I've done um, as time goes on. And so that's what I I mean, that's what I really have about this video. I, I I've, I've, I've had my video where I talk about the importance of consistency. I think that the idea of repeat, repeatedly doing something to the point where it it uh, it becomes a habit and you know pushing through that initial barrier that you might have is extremely important because once you get into that habit it it's it doesn't seem as that much effort um so i just i don't know i can't recommend this whole thing enough truly it's uh it it, it really is a pleasure to um, be able to show this to you guys and to try to encourage you to do your own uh, journey of self-improvement. And I don't know, I, I'm just, it's, it's incredible to me how much change I've, I've, I've been able to achieve. And you know, 100 days is really not that much time. It's a lot of time and not a lot of time at the same time. You know, it's a lot of time in the sense that you can achieve a lot, but like we all know that a year can pass by without anything happening. And the amount of change that I've had in these hundred days is the biggest change I've by far that I've ever had in my entire life, hands down. And from that alone, I, I mean, I, I just I feel like the evidence is kind of there. Um, I guess I could get into more specifics uh in in terms of what i've done like if i if i had to go to uh, you know other than sleep but like you know my nutrition was really bad i was i was barely eating i was eating crap like uh zero like i, I would have days where i was eating like not like one meal uh completely not eating i had absolutely zero fitness um physical exercise that i was doing my physio was really bad like i was having issues with my shoulder and my knee and i started improving on that my job was the one thing that was pretty good and it has improved like my main job that i have youtube i just started like it, it was uh you know I, I hadn't been really doing anything for a while twitch i had I, I barely had anything i had so much improvement that i wanted to work on i ended up you know uh getting a 
Twitch banner. I ended up getting uh, a bunch of artwork that I that I paid for through Fiverr. I I started streaming consistently. I started getting some, some subscribers, some friends, you know, my viewership. I, I'm, I've developed a community all from zero, right? All from like all of this started like from zero. And, you know, I've had all this YouTube channel where I've had all these videos that I've been uploading. I interest myself a little bit in these, but these this stuff took more priority. So this stuff has kind of been in the back burner for a long time. My hobbies are kind of to the side. Uh, family and friends. I've really started to be close to my family, focusing on wanting to build relationships. Whenever something's bad, I really try to fix it. I have that mindset. Uh, family was higher than this. It's, it is it is at a point where, but I, I'm actually going to be improving it today because uh, I had a, a, a good uh, a good moment with my mother. Um, but uh, friends also improved. I started seeing more friends more frequently, talking to more friends. Uh, the romantic department, this is what I didn't expect. This is kind of an X factor that came out of nowhere because the romantic department was so uh, like, I don't know, just I don't know what, what expression. But suddenly, you know, I started talking to a lot of potential people and I'm currently talking to... Um, Someone, I'm not going to get too dis specific about about this. I, I, it's just more personal, but I still like to mention it to some degree. And I had quite a bit of short-term goals. Not as many short-term goals as I would have liked to have achieved. I had some long-term goals that I also did, but not quite the same. But one long-term goal I did do was I ended up saving up my gift money. Um, that's a long story, but I'm not, not going to explain. I just kind of like saved some money that I eventually uh, put a, you know aside. That 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 was a nice goal. Um, but you know, these, and I, I'm, I'm doing all of this just to tell you like, oh, and for the fitness, you know, I've started like work, I literally work out every other, every single day practically other than the weekends now, uh, which is focused on my physio, but I've increased in my weights considerably. I initially was doing like shoulder presses, 12 reps, about like 20 pounds dumbbells. And now I can do 40 pounds in each. Uh, I wear a 50 pound weight vest where I do some like kind of squat and lunge activities that I, I, I worked up to. These are, you know, uh, things that I've I started doing that I wasn't doing before. You know, I started jogging a little bit more, running a little bit more. And I'm saying this as evidence, right? These aren't actual literal changes that I've made uh, in this in this process. My job, I, I started getting doing better at my job. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like the Twitch is probably the biggest thing because it, I really went from zero to where I'm at now, which is still, you know, at the humble beginning stage. But a lot of improvement was made there. And I really, uh, I don't know, like the, to me, this is evidence. But my dog walking really improved. I started walking my dog every single day, uh, which I wasn't doing before. So there's, you know, there's that to think about. Um, yeah, like I, I'm very happy. I feel even more motivated now um, to, 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 to keep it going, to achieve even higher heights. And I don't know. I just I, 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 I can't recommend this more. I can't recommend it more. Try to find something to journal about your day. It doesn't take a lot of time. That's that's one of the key things about what I'm doing. It doesn't take that much time and effort to do. The only time and effort really is you planning out what you want to do, what uh, having that list of goals in the long run, in five years, in 10 years, in areas that you want to work on. Planning that out takes some time and effort, but why wouldn't you? It's like your future. Why don't you, you know, do and, and envision what you want your future to look like and things to work on and then just really consistently every day reminding yourself reflecting on what on all those areas and how you're improving in them and trying to you know start one thing at a time usually is one thing i'd recommend so you don't overwhelm yourself all at once um but it's it's doable like there isn't this isn't something that's like that i i, I truly like i'm i'm not that special of a person uh in this regard really like any anybody can do this this tracking that I'm doing. Your performance level is different. There's some people that are might do worse than me. There's some people that I'm certain would do better than how I've progressed. But this is a tool, really. Look at look at it like you're gaining a tool to your life uh, by implementing something like this. And I don't know. I I, I just I truly think that um, 
there's there's just there's nothing there's there's nothing bad I could say about this. Really. Um try the you know you know maybe if you want maybe if it could help a little bit uh to get to get someone started try to look at my like first videos like day one day two watch see how i started in that stage and see maybe how i was like gradually developing it um just to just to feel like maybe you're like you start and you're talking and you're dealing with someone at the same pace because i am very different i feel my mentally very different from where i was when i first started and I feel very capable. One of the points I'm going to actually be making in this video that I, I wrote down was um, it's your success that helps you have more success from a mental standpoint. Because when you see that you can do something, when you see, oh my God, look at what I've done, it reinforces yourself to think, yes, I really can do this and I can do more. Right? And... I find it kind of a cheat code or not cheat code, but very helpful because really you can pick easy things to do, right? You can pick small things that are practical that you know you're able to do, do them, start doing them consistently and be like, all right, I got this. I know I could do twice that now. And then you start to do that, right? So I'm going to leave it at that. You know, 100 days is, is, is a special milestone. The next video I'm going to be doing will be much better because that's where I'll be starting. To, by then, 100%, I'm going to have my thumbnails. I'm going to have an intro. I'm going to have all kinds of things for the YouTube. Uh, but one year will be the next uh, video like this one where I talk about one year of daily improvement vlogging and or journaling, as I would like to say to you. Because I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you also do a YouTube channel like this. Um, you can, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against it, but I don't want you to think that you have to do a YouTube channel where you're vid daily uploading like this, um, for it to work. I don't believe that's the case. It is helpful from my perspective, from my standpoint. Well, first of all, I'd like to build this channel to help other people, but also, uh, it, this does add a level of accountability, right? Because I do want to show people what I've got to some degree. I want to I, not show people what I've got. I, I'm holding myself accountable, right? When I say I'm going to do this, my success, right? I don't want to fail in front of everybody, right? There is that sense of accountability that I've created here. And for that reason, you know, there's nothing stopping you. If you're not going to do a YouTube channel about it, you could still, you know, maybe have a journal in your own way, whether it's physical or, or digitally and find a friend or a family member or someone close to you that you that can kind of track what you're doing. And so you can show them, you can make a negotiation. Hey, uh, you know, uh, once a week, we're going to, how'd you do, right? What did you set in mind? And, uh, you know, th that sense of camaraderie in a certain sense where that person will look at you and give you an honest assessment, someone that cares about you, that could be very helpful. So look into that. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, and this is something I want to make very clear. This is one of the most important things about this whole video. And I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful if you've made it this far, 33 minutes in. I said a lot of words in this video. I said a lot of things that might sound motivating um, and might inspire you and might give you like, hey, yeah, maybe, you know, maybe I can, I should, I should start this thing. This guy's really selling it pretty well. It's, it seems pretty good. But at the end of the day, and this is something that I've just noticed time and time again with motivational videos and, and, and whatnot, even though I've given some evidence, even if I've, I've, I've done some things, and I, I truly think that someone could have all the evidence in the world in front of them for why they should do something that's only to their benefit, and they don't do it. You're in control of what you do. You could, you could watch what I've shown. You could be completely like, ah, you know, cool, this guy's doing good with his life. It's interesting. It's, it's fun to follow along. How is he doing? You could be really motivated. It's like, oh wow, I really like this. You know, uh, I, 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 I really, I hear what he's saying, and it's like, yeah, that's a good idea. And then at the end of the video, uh, what's what, what, what? Let me watch another random uh, TikTok or random video right now, and then you know, it kind of just goes, goes out one ear out the other in a certain way, right? Because it's a thing to hear words, motivational words, and it feeling good, and yada, yada, yada. 
But if you don't do it, then it doesn't really serve that much of a purpose. And as much as I like and I highly recommend and I want people to do this, you're in control of your own destiny. You are the person that chooses what you want to do. You could do whatever you want, right? But this video and rewatching this video and hearing my voice and all these things that I'm saying and feeling good, that alone is not enough to get you to do this. You need to find deep within yourself for your own personal reasons why you want to start improving your life and changing it in a, in a certain meaningful way. What I've done, maybe 10%, 15, 20% at most, but all that rest is in you. You need to have that determination. You need to want to have this uh, uh, desire of, of, of really improving your life in wherever you want it to happen. If, it's, if you don't want it, if you don't really have that desire of wanting to do this, you're not going to do it. You're just not going to do it. And, you know, I, 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 like I said, I feel like I've sold it pretty well on why you should give this a try. I think it, there really are no downsides if you think about it. Um, but again, everything, even now, what I just said, it's all words. It's all words. I don't want to say something that sounds really nice to try to, you know, I am in a way selling it, yes, but I don't I'm not trying to just like go, oh yes, I'm trying to like sweet talk you into doing this. No, I I mean at the end of the day, like I said, you do what you want to do. That's it. You live your life how you want to live your life. I personally think that this will make your life happier, but you do you. You do you. And um no amount of listening to either me or other things over and over again is really going to change that. I truly believe that. I believe that a lot of motivational videos can sound nice and they can give you little hints of motivation, but that dies down. You need a deep belief in yourself that you need to cultivate and take from to be able to start uh, a journey like this of really caring about making changes, positive changes in your life. So think about that, right? Think about that. Look deep within yourself before going immediately. Oh, I'm yeah, I'm gonna do this because you're gonna do it. You're gonna do like that one day, and you're gonna be like, ah, screw this. I'm not doing it anymore. I can see it. I can imagine. I could ch totally imagine people doing that. Or maybe after a few days, like ah, uh, you know, it's day three, day four. Uh, you know what? I I don't really feel like spending ten minutes of my day at the end of the day to to to, to do this. I can see it. And you're not going to get back to doing it just by watching a video like this one where I tell you about how great it is. You need to really think to yourself, what do you want to do with your life? And that's, and that's where it comes from. You are in control. You need to look deep within yourself. But I'll leave it at that. I hope I hope uh, I hope that hit home. Hope that uh, you know assisted you. Again, you live your life how you wish, as long as you don't harm others. And I hope that I have been able to help to some degree with this video. You know, I I hope that I I have expressed how great what I've been doing is, and how you how anybody taking on some form of what I've been doing is only to their benefit. So I will leave it at that. I hope you all have a absolutely fantastic life wherever you are in your moment right now. If you're going to start this journey, good luck. I am always here. You can watch me daily, anytime doing my thing because I put it all out there and um, I, I, I wish you, I wish you nothing but the best. Um, and, you know, looking forward to. How awkward is that? <laughs> looking forward to, um, the one year video and seeing how things have changed since then. 
So thank you for watching and have a great life. Bye now.